Hey guys and welcome aboard. For this episode, we'll be using After Effects motion tracking and a bit of masking on the side to get the effect of text appearing as if it's part of a scene. Now, let's get started. Okay, first thing you'll want to do upon starting After Effects is to import your footage that you'll be tracking over onto the project panel. Then from the project panel, bring it down to the layers panel. Okay, so there's our footage. Alright. And next is to right click layers panel and new text. So we're going to create a text layer. We're going to create the text that we'd want to add to our scene. Okay, now I'm going to type in motion tracking. And uh, I'm going to play around with the text and get a feel of where's a good place to position it. So uh, once you're happy with the position of the text, I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, sorry, I must have added it by mistake. Anyways, create a new null object. So this null object is going to hold our tracking data. Call it tracker for sake of organization. And then head over to the track panel. If ever you can't find the track panel, you're going to have to change your workspace to motion tracking and it should appear right there. Okay, so under the track panel, set your motion source to your footage that you intend to track. Um, then make sure your footage is selected. Uh, otherwise, the tracking options would be grayed out. Now, if you would look at the tracker panel, notice there's a bunch of different options, but we're just going to explore the most basic ones. We don't have time to cover all of them. So with that, you'll want to click on track motion. All right, now be sure the track type is set to transform. Now, if you look at the screen, you'll notice this guy over here. Uh, yes, that one, uh, track point number one. So the inner box represents the part of footage After Effects is going to track. So every frame is going to come look for that piece of footage. Uh, the outer box in the meanwhile is, is the search area of where After Effects is going to look for that piece of footage you've designated in the inner box. Uh, as a general rule, the faster the object you're tracking due to camera movement or if the object itself is moving, the faster it moves, the bigger you'll want the search area so After Effects could find it in the next frame. But just remember that the bigger the search area is, the longer it'll take After Effects to search. So there's a certain trade-off you'll have to consider when setting your track point. Now for the track point, you'll want to pick a high contrast and consistent area of the footage so After Effects could latch onto it properly. Um, that's a possible prospect, but this is actually the best track point as I've checked. But for the sake of practice and demonstration, we'll use the upper track point and just to show you what happens if it doesn't track properly. Okay, so with that set, you'll want to analyze the track data. So click the play button there. And okay, well, there, you see, you notice After Effects lost the track at a certain point. Now, if you like your track point so much, you could go to the frame that it started to get lost and just redirect your track point. Okay, like so, and analyze it again. But okay, in our case, it just gets lost again. Another thing you could also do is to manually change the track point positions. Oh, I'm, I'm using the page up and page down key to advance by frame, by the way. Anyway, uh, you could use reset to delete all the track data if you decide to go for another track point. And okay, let's just go for the lower track point. Somewhere there below. I'm just gonna adjust it a bit. Probably the reason the top track point doesn't work as well is the part the black parts found in the building behind which kind of confuses the program in figuring out which is the actual point to track so anyway this lower point let's try tracking it okay and as you can see the track is much more spot on 
uh, you can pause tracking anytime by clicking while it's tracking or clicking pause and uh, let's resume tracking and okay that's everything I suppose okay see that went a lot better now edit target and apply motion to your tracker layer now you want to click apply and apply dimensions X and Y okay so if you've noticed if you go to your track your null object layer the tracking data is now on the tracker null layer that the next thing you want to do is to parent the motion tracking text to the tracker null object so what this does is the motion tracking text will now move as the tracker layer moves and since we've applied the tracking data to the tracker layer if we do a RAM preview by hitting 0 on the number pad this should be the result so as you can see it's now following our track point we set earlier nice okay now next step is we'll need to have the text to look like it's behind the column so grab the pen tool and with the text layer selected draw around the column the area of the text you don't want to see and close that okay with the text layer selected shortcut key M uh, set the mask to subtract which means anything under the mask will be removed so let's click on the stopwatch that sets a keyframe for our mask and now we're gonna move to the point of the footage where the text is more or less revealed and set another keyframe and move the mask I'm using the arrow keys but you could also move the mouse with you you can also move the mask with your mouse uh, the pen tool in After Effects works in a similar fashion with the pen tool of Photoshop and Illustrator so I won't go into depth as much but that's just so you know or have an idea of the amount of control you have with the mask in After Effects so it takes some moving the keyframe around to get to that point now we're just gonna get to the point right like the point right after all of the text is revealed which is somewhere there okay so still looking still looking and all right there it is so as so you can see I'm moving it's not quite perfect yet so if you try playing the footage via RAM preview more or less there but it's not quite there yet uh, now to alleviate this what you gotta what you need to do is set uh, another keyframe in between those two keyframes and adjust a adjust the mask accordingly and now you're just gonna keep doing that until you are more or less happy with the result of course the more keyframes you set the better your ma your masking will look I'm not gonna make it perfect for the sake of demonstration so I'll just uh, speed things up a bit just so you could have an idea and once you're done as you can see with the Maram preview more or less the text looks like it's behind the column right there okay now I want the text to be behind that slab so we're gonna do the same thing over again select the text layer get the pen tool and just start drawing over the slab or the object that you'd want the text to be behind so I'm not gonna go through this one again since we're running out of time but it's pretty much just the same concept as with the column so we're gonna just fast forward this part And right after that, you should get your completed result. And there you have it, people. That's how you use motion tracking and masking in Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon in AEIOU.